Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avi Lash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of pound dollar GBP USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So this is the four loss chart of GBP USA in front of us and as you can see that right now market is trading at 1.1955 this is the current market price here and let's look at the chart of DXY once and as we all know DXY is flying DXY is unstoppable it made a high of 107.2 527 yesterday if you have watched my previous video then you know it very well that right now we do not have any immediate resistance on dxy both fundamentally and technically dxy is extremely bullish right now so as a result there is pressure going on on the pairs like euro usd gbp usd and gold usd and if we understand try to understand the pattern of gb uh, dollar here like you can see that dxy is constantly breaking the previous high and going up so if you can see the red candles here okay then this is not a trend reversal for a proper trend reversal we need something big right now we need a news an event that will that will change the direction of dxy right now this is this looks like a consolidation or a simple correction in the market and there's a possibility that after some correction dxy will try to try to go up again either from 106.64 or 106.36 there's a high chance of dxy flying again now if we look at the chart of gpusd the most important thing that i would like to mention here is that unlike other usd pairs like let's say gbp usd or sorry uh, euro usd or gold usd you will not see a heavy fall sharp fall on the chart of gbp usd remember the important support zone here the important price rejection around this level and gp usd is somehow still trying to maintain trying to hold the important support level if we consider the chart of euro usd or gold USD, you will see supports breaking and market falling market crashing but in case of gp usd this is not the case here to dxy us dollar is flying but gbp usd is still somehow trying to maintain its support level as if the buyers in the market does not want they are giving their last fight to maintain the overall position of gbp usd here so what are the trading opportunities then so first of all my dear friend if you are looking for a good selling opportunity in the market then i think that in instead of gbp usd you can focus on euro usd because if dxy starts flying again if you are looking for a heavy drop in the market then euro usd can be a better option for a short sale okay um, yes you can also look for selling portion gbp usd the first selling opportunity may come around below this level the low made by the market okay. this is the low made by the market 1.1878 so you can take a sale position below 1.1875 so if you find market breaking this level and going down you can take a sell position but again i'll say if you're looking for a short uh, short sell opportunity then euro us is a better option but still in case if you see that um, uh, market is breaking the level with a big fat red candle means that selling is there in the market and you can take a sell position and in case the the ongoing recovery continues in the market then there is a possibility that market will hit the level of 1.2000 level if you mark if market hits the 1.2000 level uh, there may be a reversal here as well so if market reverses if you find market forming uh, shooting star kind of a pattern or if market shows price rejection from above around 1.2000 level you can take a sell position as well because if we consider the overall trend of GP USD here then there is no doubt that market is under the heavy um, dominance of sellers right now sellers are dominating this market and as we all know trend is the most important thing trend is our friend so therefore try to look for selling opportunities only so first of all this if market reverses for 1.2000 and in case market breaks this level you can also take a sell position but again i'll say that um, 
somehow buyers in the market are still trying their best to maintain the overall position i think that there may be some recovery after a few days so let's see <laughs> let's, uh, let's see where the market goes see gbus recovery hopes appear dim after breaking june low okay so um, overall sent market sentiment is not at all positive but yes i think that there is still a hope for the market because buyers in the market are still trying their best if we try to judge the body language of the market here so this is it hopefully you've understood bye bye take care please follow proper risk management my analysis can be wrong also you should not gambling with your hard and money protect your capital bye bye take care